Quick update on the ramps conversion to 24 volts and a few safety items. Um, I'm always complaining about fuses and you should always fuse these things. I removed my bridge off my board and I ended up installing an uh, automotive fuse. It was actually a really simple, easy fix. I grabbed a couple of spade connectors like these right here and I ended up cutting the plastic right about there and stripping the excess plastic out, trimming some of the metal down and making them so they fit right through. If you notice, fits perfect. You can sit there, you can put an automotive fuse right in, pull it out if it blows, replace it again. I'm going to be doing the same thing later on to the poly fuse right behind it. Uh, very easy, very simple, very cheap, very effective. That's the wrong size fuse, don't quote that. That's just something I use for making sure it worked. Uh, the other thing I used, I used the step-down voltage converter. I found this uh, online, actually in the Ramps forum, so this isn't my idea, but it's a great idea. Um, it'll handle up to 26 volts and it steps it right down to 12, so I'm actually using this to step it down to the original diode that I removed. I placed it back under, back on, underneath on the downside this time, and I'm using this to step down the 24 volts off the board. Ground right there, 24 volts in. I'm using this to step it down to 12, feeding it back to the diode so I don't backfeed anything. And this is going to now power the, Arduino, the Arduino on its own. Very neat little simple trick. You can actually grab these, put some of these green ends on it, onto the, onto the top side of this. And then you can have any 12 volt accessory you want to run. It, it's rated up to like 1 amp, so it's not very much. Um, so that should help your ramps 24 volt uh, conversion out and make it a little bit easier between the fuses and the step down. There is a Thingverse, um, Thingiverse mount for this, but with my printer being down at the moment, I can't print one out, so I just hot glued the whole entire back side of it to give it some protection and to hold it in place for right now. Now for the rigid bot guys, the only other thing I did from the last video is I added in some extensions to the Z plugs, the Z motor plugs. I plugged in, I actually had this already where my motherboard should be and found out that the original Z motor plugs are a little tight. Actually, I can only put one of them in, I can't put both of them in. So I'm going to run two more extensions just like I did for my end stops and I'm going to use that to plug it in, to plug in both Z motors. Uh, at this time, I don't want to cut any wires or strip anything or do anything other than the original wires. I do not want to modify any of the wiring just because if we end up finding a nice, easy drop-in, all-in-one uh, solution, I want to be able to use that. So for right now, this is where it stands. Um, hopefully by the end of, well, sometime soon, I'll have this all set up and wired and running and show you guys. Uh, sorry about it. It's been the holidays, so family's taking up a little bit of my time, but here you guys go. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully that helps, or at least gives you some ideas on something to do.